Welcome to Unit 6. Uh, we're going to be here talking about the composition of substances and solutions. Um, and if you have aspirations in the healthcare field, this will be some of the most practical stuff you'll probably run into. So what are we going to be talking about? Um, first thing, we're going to go over and review the formula mass and the mole concept, um, because this is a big part of that. <clears throat> And then we're going to talk about empirical molecular formulas and actually how to determine them, not just what they are. And we're going to talk about solutions and solution compositions, namely, um, you're going to go, we're going to learn about um, molarity, which is probably the most important concentration unit for chemists, and a couple of other ones, especially those um, that you might end up using, again, if you have aspirations for the healthcare field. All right, so let's review um, some molar mass and mole concept stuff. And we're gonna start with dextrose. So dextrose is a simple sugar, and it's actually the same thing as glucose. For some reason, food folks like to call it glucose, and in the medical circles, they like to call it dextrose, but it is exactly the same thing. And so the first question I'm gonna ask you is what is the molecular formula of dextrose given that pick? figure right there. All right, so the formula hopefully you came up with is C6H12O6. The next question is, what's its, what's its empirical formula? Now remember the empirical formula is simply the smallest whole number ratio of the um, number of atoms of each element. And you can reduce that by dividing everything through by 6, which gives you an empirical formula of CH2O, which means that uh, the elements or atoms of the element, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, are present in a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio, respectively. And last question, I think on this slide, is going to be what's the molar mass? So feel free to bust out your periodic table and your calculator, hit pause, crunch some numbers. And so we've got six carbon atoms at 12.011 grams per mole apiece, uh, 12 hydrogens at 1.0079 grams per mole apiece, and six oxygens at 15.999 grams per mole apiece giving us a grand total of 180.16 grams per mole. And if you're taking notes and following along, um, write that down because that number you will probably need for the next couple of slides. Okay, so remember, dextrose is equal to glucose, and this is the sugar that is found in tablets that people that are subject to low blood sugar or hypoglycemia carry around. Um, in case your blood sugar drops and they get a little lightheaded. And this stuff just goes directly into your bloodstream and is, and is used by your body almost instantly. And if you read the labels, um, and I apologize for the not so great picture of it, that will tell you that each tablet contains four grams of glucose, dextrose, whatever you want to call it. And so the question is, if you take, let's say, two tablets, how many moles of dextrose are you ingesting? So work on it for a little bit. All right, so here is the solution to this problem. So you've got two, so again, think about this as the regular setup that I've been trying to, um, you know, show you how to get, how to work problems. Start with a starting point bunch of conversion factors and your answer. So we want to basically convert a number of tablets to a number of moles of dextrose and we need to do that in two steps. Um, the first conversion factor is what the, you know, uh, is this tidbit right here, that each tablet has four grams of dextrose. So four grams of dextrose is equivalent to one tablet and that'll get rid of tablets, that will give us a mass of dextrose in grams. And the molar mass of dextrose, the thing I told you to scribble down and remember, is the other conversion factor that will take our mass of dextrose to a amount. 
And so tablets cancel, grams of dextrose cancel, we have moles of dextrose. That's the, we want an answer in moles. So the answer, this setup gives us the correct unit. There's a real good chance it's correct. Crunch to the numbers and you should get um, 0 0.044 moles of dextrose. Now I'm going to do this in the other direction. Um, if you needed to ingest 0.122 moles of dextrose, how many tablets would you need to take in? And I'll just tell you straight up, it's actually not a whole number of tablets. So hit pause, work through this one. All right, so again, starting point, conversion factors, and then our answer. The starting point here is the amount, the 0.122 moles of dextrose. And here, so you want to get rid of moles of dextrose um, and to, just to get a number of tablets. You want to get rid of moles of dextrose so the molar mass can get rid of that. So up to right here, moles of dextrose cancel. We've got a mass of dextrose. And then the, you know, the fact that there's four grams in one tablet is the second conversion factor that we need to do. And that means that um, that amount of dextrose is contained in five and a half tablets. And finally, again, remembering that each mole, each tablet contains four grams of dextrose. Um, how many dextrose molecules, individual molecules, are there in three tablets? Now, I'm not asking for moles. I'm asking for molecules. So know that this answer should be a fairly large number. Um, requiring scientific notation, but moles might be an intermediate step. Um, so I'll give you a hint before you start cranking on this, um, that you will need to use the molar mass and Avogadro's number. So think about this, try to work it out. And so, and here is the solution. So we've got three tablets. We know that each tablet con contains four grams of dextrose. So these cancel, this gives us a mass of dextrose. Um, we know that each gram, that each mole of dextrose weighs 180.16 grams. Grams of dextrose cancel here, and now we have an amount of dextrose, but it's, it's in moles. Um, and we also know that one mole is defined as 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd whatever. So this would give us a number of individual molecules. That's the units that we want. Good chance it's right, crunch the numbers, and you should get a very large number of 4 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of dextrose. So, and again, remember, this hopefully was review from a few units back. So, um, now let's try something new.